Mr. Matthew McConaughey. Let's get it. Golf cart confessions. Hey, love you. It's not you. What's happening? What's happening, baby? Hanging out next to a coffin. <laughs> Think I can catch a ride? Yeah, but listen, they were out of Lincolns. All right. <laughs> You look good. I feel feel good. Did man. you moisturize this morning? I feel like you I damn I, right I moisturized <laughs> this morning. <laughs> what was happening in your life that you were like, you know what? It's time for a children's book. Dude, I think just having kids. Is that know? right? Yeah. I mean, you got kids? No. Okay. I got three were, dogs. Okay, you got three dogs. Enough. Well, anybody out there with kids knows. Man, you have kids, you start seeing the world and how it works and everything had a little through different. the lens of having kids, right? That's true. So anyway, I guess I was dreaming through that same lens, because I just had a dream one night, it was a ditty. Just because I threw the dart doesn't mean that it's stuck. Just because you got skills don't mean there is no luck. Dun, 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 dun. So I woke up. Oh, snap. And you get a rhythm in your head. And yeah, and you wake and the song, it just keeps coming to you. The lyrics fall to the rhythm, I get up, write it down. One of the, th the beautiful things about this book that I found was that it was also about connecting, you know, as a, as a parent or as an adult, connecting also with your inner child, right? Yeah. And like letting that out. Yeah, man. And so the question to you, you know, Matthew, is like, when was the last time you let little Matthew out? Dude, he's out. He's out. All the time. That's what I mean. This Stays is what I talk about, like going around and talking about this book. It's so easy because I'm eight years old. You know what I mean? And, I, and, he, and now, no matter what age we are, we can always access however young we, we were. Yep. We all got it. You got eight year old and you can be there. You can be 10, you can be 50, you can be five. Yep. And so this is, I mean. The dream. What was it like to see Levi reading this book Dude, for the first time? how cool time? was that? Right? I wake up yesterday and he's got a post out saying, congratulations to Papa. Oh man, he's a little dude. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> you like light up, I, I love. Him. I was like last night. I was like, hey man, appreciate the, uh, the congratulations love. and the love post. Man, he's like, you got to Papa, I'm proud of you. I'm like, my son's telling me they're proud of you. Proud of me? Done. That's pretty cool. I have a good friend in particular, Kit Hoover, who said that kids are like pancakes. You, you kind of burn the first one. Right, the helicopter uh -huh. parent, like your intense uh -huh. parenting, uh -huh. like you're, you're on them, uh -huh. and you look away, you turn back, they burn up. Right. Would you say that was similar for you guys? Did you were you really on Levi, oh, yeah. first kid, yeah. and have you eased up? Yes. Since. Yes and yes. <laughs> Kit, yes. Kit, you are correct. Oh, you overcooked the souffle on the first one. Is that right? Oh my gosh. Well, you don't know. I remember I was holding him <laughs> as a child, and, and and something I was having to do with my left hand here, and he, he, he kind of slipped out and hit the floor. And I went, oh! <laughs> and I remember it was, it was, I called the doctor. I'm like, oh my God, baby. Oh my God I'm crying. He goes, he, goes, he goes, let me tell you something. How far did he drop? I go, it's just a few feet. He goes, they're made of cartilage. They bounce at that age. You're okay. And I'm sitting, you, 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 every little thing you think, yeah, I'm gonna kill work. I'm gonna kill him. Right, the tragedy. I'm and then the third one's kid. like, yeah, you get in there, work it out. You know what I mean? And <laughs> I know that you are an incredible father. Your wife comes to our show all the time, and we talk about it quite often. What was the last time where you were like, damn, I think I might be, I might be doing all right at this, at this parenting thing? One you just brought up, my son, my eldest, putting out a post and saying to me, hey, congratulations, dad, I'm proud of you. Yeah. That just flipped the script. That I mean, means, okay, because you go from being a father to the child. You're the father, you're the parent to the child. Yep. And then slowly, if you do well, I think, they get to where you kind of can ha become a bit more like peers. I was always saying I'm proud of you. Now mm -hmm. you're telling me you're, have enough agency yourself, young Levi, to go, hey, Dad, I dig that. Okay, what is the one thing, though, that you do that drives your family nuts? Um, I get going on them when I'm trying to parent them, right? And I'll, and, I, and I'll get up on my pulpit and I'll get going. Oh, you hit preacher hey, voice. Oh, you hit yeah. the preacher oh, voice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and another oh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get on a roll? And I'm going to get it out. We're going to be real clear. And they and they, and they get it. They they get comfortable because they know they're not going. They're not allowed to go anywhere for a while. <laughs> exactly. Your Popeye's done. But I'll hear this sometimes. Oh, can you please make the TED Talk shorter, Popeye? Come on, please. <laughs> can you wrap it up? <laughs> Come on. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's not getting 
gets them sometimes when I when I when I get on my pulpit and I get going. Is it? But I tell them no, I can't make it shorter. It'll be as long as it is, and I'll be done when I'm done. When I'm and, and when you're 18 and out of this house, you can have the option to get up and leave. But right now, no, you're gonna listen. You think of happiness. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> See, like, right there. Okay, now I want you to help me set the record straight. All right. The Obamas are my cousin. Okay. Right? They're my cousins. I, it's, it's, it's hard to explain how. If you know, you know. But what is the actual relation to you and Woody Harrelson? Did you see? The, the We're going to find out. I don't know. But they're, My they're... mom has cryptically said this stuff like maybe, you know, she has to put this, that, 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 that. I don't know. <laughs> Woody th Woody's like, yeah, let's go find out. You are. You're my brother. And I'm like, it's easy for you to say, Woody, because you gain a brother. <laughs> it's hard for me because you ask me to, like, like lose a dad. You know. <laughs> Come on, man. Exactly. You know? I got a sense of normalcy I'm trying to hold yes. on to. I have something I feel like you've, you're, you've been avoiding that I need you to just lean into. Come on. And that's your recording career that's for the that's for the moody center which uh um which is a great arena we have there in austin texas that's also the home court for the university of texas yeah longhorn basketball come team. on now so the theme to my head was like look we gotta we gotta, we gotta bless the mood the name yeah, is the moody the center mood. so what let's let's bless let's, it let's talk about what different forms of blessing is and let's also make this a big ass home court advantage with a nice cool gospel-like tune, Come especially since we're going to the SEC. Studio's my favorite, even if I'm not recording, that's my favorite place. Like my office, my like work office. Right. Is speakers and, and sound. Oh, so it feels sense. like so that. I like the feeling of a, of, of a music studio. So what you're telling me is you got two or three albums you're sitting on, you just haven't put them out yet. I might have 48 albums I'm sitting on. I, I believe it. Out. If, you, if you break it down, it's basically a Bob Dylan ditty. What I, you know what I say? What I say? <laughs> I told you he's getting his Bob Dylan on. I already know it. Okay, I want to do a little bit of rapid fire with you. All right. Biggest surprise about being a dad? Oh, it's more DNA than I thought. Ooh. I thought it was all more 80% uh, cultural environment, what the parent forms the child to be. Yep. But once they come out and you see them, you're like, oh, they are who Sad. they are. Okay, so if you weren't an actor, yeah. what would be your gig? Probably a folk singing preacher. I do get the sense that you should have been a preacher. Let's make Sunday morning feel more like Saturday night. Come on now. Have you ever been fired from a job? Have I been fired from a job? That's a great question. Have I been fired from a job? I had, had to have been fired from a job. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think. Give, give me an example of one of the jobs you held down before you really hit as an actor. Well, that is a great job in Austin, Texas while I was going to school, the Catfish Station. Okay. It was uh, an all-black blues bar. Okay. And I ended up working there um, for the first year. It was, it was small. It only held about 50 people, and I worked there for three years. By the time I left, we had, besides there just being me and one other waitress, Tammy, there was me and Tammy. 27 other waitresses. What? That ran, that ran, we moved up to a much larger joint. It had great blues bands come through there every single night. It was a great job to have. I, I, who was the last one to plan date night between you and your wife? The last one to plan date night between me and my wife was me, and I need to get on the horse and make it more often. What is the most, you're Scorpio, right? Yeah. What's the most Scorpio thing about you, would you oh, say? Oh, you know what? I'm really loyal, and uh, I give you, I give you a couple chances to, to uh, mess it uh, up, to bogey mm -hmm. with me. But if it's a third, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Three strikes. Amnesty is over. You're out. Okay, as we wrap this up, give me a, give me an example of a uh, co-star that you keep in touch with. Co-star? Yeah. Well, we just talked about one, Woody. I'm always happy to see uh, Miss Lopez wherever we cross. Um, she's great. Kate, that's not still see. And enjoy always seeing. I think it's the 90th birthday. Tom Scarrett. Do you remember Tom Scarrett? Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 90? The Jody Foster, when I see her, always happy to see her. Brother man, I could do it all day. Deal. Deal.